In the mid-1980s, I had the opportunity to go to Switzerland and study with Professor Franz Fankhauser, who invented the YAG laser. This was at the University Eye Clinic in Bern. Professor Fankhauser was using the laser to cut diabetic membranes and to do other procedures deep inside the eye. At that time, eye floaters were not really considered a serious condition. Ophthalmic dogma, and I call it dogma because dogma is a belief system with no basis in fact. Ophthalmic dogma, as I was taught, was that eye floaters were benign and that they went away. Well, after being in practice for a few years, I realized that they weren't benign. Some patients were severely disabled. And I applied the knowledge that I learned in Switzerland uh, here. I was the first to start treating eye floaters with laser. I knew we could do it. I knew Professor Fankhauser had done the initial work. And I was quite surprised at the success. At this point in ophthalmology, uh, ophthalmic dogma still rules. Ophthalmologists still tell patients nothing can be done. Ophthalmologists still tell patients floaters will go away. Well, in most cases, this is the truth. However, there are many cases where this is not the case. Eye floaters in some patients can be severely disabling, especially in patients with one good eye. Uh, I've had patients who literally could not see the eye chart because a dense floater came in their field of vision. Laser is an easy uh, procedure for the patient to undergo. The risks of laser are very, very low. Uh, vitrectomy has often been offered to patients with severe floater, but the problems with vitrectomy are the postoperative and operative complications. This can include retinal detachment and include cataract in patients over 40. Of course, laser has potential complications too, but uh, in our experience and in my hands, uh, complications have been extremely rare. Uh, we've never seen a retinal detachment here from laser for eye floaters. I've been doing eye floaters now for approximately uh, 20 years doesn't seem that long at this point, but uh, we are at the top of our game now. Uh, we know the envelope of security. We know how far we can push the envelope to get the job done. And that's why we succeed where many other doctors have failed. Other doctors have tried to use YAG lasers for uh, eye floaters. YAG lasers are common in ophthalmology. Uh, most ophthalmologists who do cataract surgery and certainly all ophthalmologists in training have used YAG lasers to make holes in the iris or make openings behind uh, implants after cataract surgery. But there is a difference between YAG lasers. The YAG lasers that are used for these purposes are usually not made to work in the vitreous gel where floaters start. The laser that I bought from Switzerland was created specifically by Professor Fankhauser. He anticipated uh, cutting diabetic membranes and other serious problems within the eye. It's an easy procedure in my hands. Uh, we have the largest and longest clinical group of patients, I think, worldwide. And I'm very pleased with our success rate. I, I enjoy doing this. This is uh, the greatest fun in ophthalmology. And it feels uh, great just as a physician to be able to help patients when their own doctor tells them nothing can be done.